Breaking news, guys. Once again, Ike Kwere Madu speaks from London prison. <laughs> Sends very important message to Nigerians. This message will shock you. The former deputy president of the Senate, Ike Kwere Madu, has expressed deep appreciation to Nigerians from all walks of life for their prayers, their support and solidarity since his recent ordeal in the United Kingdom. Ike Kuremado's successor and the Senate Majority Whip Senator Osita said the former DSP sent his greetings during their conversations with him when he visited him in the United Kingdom recently. The lawmaker representing Enugu West Senatorial District in a statement issued on Monday in Abuja said Ike Kore Madu, who is currently serving a jail term abroad for organ harvesting, acknowledged God's mercy and kindness in his life, accepted his current situation with the faith as well as grace and did not express any sentiment, suggesting that he had been forgotten by Nigerians. Senator Osita, however, condemned what he described as unfounded accusations against Ike Kuremado in a news report being circulated by some ununiformed individuals expressing dismay at why they would be hell-bent on misleading the unsuspecting public. He noted that where it where it not for the purpose of protecting the public who may be deceived by the fake news, he would never be, be bothered about issuing a rebooter. The lawmaker maintained that the report about Ike Kore Mado accusing Nigerians of abandoning him was false and did not know what the, the architects of such falsehood aimed to achieve. It has come to the attention of the Senate Majority Whip and Senator for Enugu West District, Distinguished Senator Osita, that a malicious story has been uh, circulated by some individuals who are known for engaging in malicious activities. These individuals stock in trade involves targeting innocent citizens with false accusations and spreading rumors. They, they are claimed that the distinguished Senator Ike Kwerimado is lamenting that Nigerians have forgotten him in London completely. It's completely false. The former deputy president of the Senate holds a special place in the heart of the people of the Enugu, the West District. No amount of cheap blackmail or indecent innuendos can alter the fact that he has served my continent with excellence and my people pray for his continued well-being and safety. I recently visited Senator Ike Kwerimado and had a lengthy conversation with him. During our meeting, Senator Ike Kwerimado expressed gratitude for the prayers and overwhelming support and solidarity he has received from Nigerians from all walks of life since his recent ordeal. It is worth noting that the Labour Party presidential candidate in 2023 general elections, His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, a close friend of Senator Ike Kwerimado, was reported to have also denounced the 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 tribute alleged publish the attribute alleged uh, published on social uh, media by the nefarious group. Mr. Obi cautioned them against hiding behind uh, credible platforms to promote ulterior interests. He said, Senator Osita urged Nigerians against jungle <laughs> journalism especially when it involves uh it involves the this distortion of the truth maintaining that it is honorable to refrain from spreading false information and tarnishing the 
the repetition of individuals. This is not the time for any man or woman of conscience with any atom of humanity to be sponsoring false allegations against our leader to achieve whatever selfish goal. By the way, there is no goal to be achieved except may mis mere mischief and hue intentions to dissuade all suspecting members of the public from offering their prayers and showing solidarity as well as sympathy to Ikekwere Mado. For anyone to choose this time of this ordeal to embark on such venture is tantamount to dancing on the grave or showing how happy they are. They are with what happened to the former deputy president of the Senate, and they have always wished him bad, but God above them. And we, on our part, we do everything humanly possible and within the law to protect our former lawmaker who gave his all for the progress of Enugu West, the Senate and the, the, and the Southeast at large, he emphasized. Well, just get the lesson if we are wise. I know his Enugu con constituents are planning to buy different assorted also a bit to throw party. Okay, I can't really get this. Uh, Nigerians have reacted. <laughs> I don't just want to take these reactions. You will not want to hear what they are saying. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.